Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 50 in chapter 3. In this one, this is a project motion, but we need to find the initial velocity. Let's see what happens. You tell us a driver wants to make his car jump over 80 cars uh, side by side below, a, a horizontal. So this one, you know, first ask you with the, what minimum speed must he drive off the horizontal. So there we need to pay attention to the word horizontal. So horizontal means the initial velocity only has x component, the so y component is zero. Do you agree? Yes. So that means that we, if we want to find initial velocity, we just need to find the initial velocity at s component. And the next one will tell you the horizontal distance is 22 meters. So the displacement at x component 22. The, then we set the reference point as, as initial. So the initial position at the y component is zero. And then we know for the project motion, acceleration pointing down due to gravity is negative g. And also finally, it uh, reaches, uh, it says the vertical height of this uh, uh, car is 1.5 meter. So finally it comes to the, it must uh, just uh, clear this point. This point we say is a negative 1.5 meter because we choose this one as reference point. So there, this position is just the negative 1.5 meter. In this one, we need to find initial velocity v naught. So you can see we know the displacement at s component. And we need to know the velocity. So we must know the time t. Right? The time t is like the bridge to connect the x component and the y component. So how can we find t? Look at the y component. You can see there we know initial velocity initial position, acceleration, and also final position. Super easy to get the t, agree? Yes. After we get t, we can input in the, this uh, x component, and then we get the initial velocity. So this is how we solve the problems. First of all, we, we need to find the time t, agree? Yes. And then, how can we get the time t? Look at the x component. Look at the y component. This is y, sorry, this is y. Uh, the y component, one half, negative g, t squared, and t, this one, and we solve the equation, we get it. The next one is, uh, it tell us this initial velocity uh, take off uh, with an angle, seven degree. So that means initial velocity, for initial velocity, we need to project it in x component and a y component. Agree? Yes. Then the, all the risk the same. The same. It also tell us the initial for, uh, the displacement in x component is twenty two meter, and also we also know the initial position for this uh, car is uh, in y component zero. Y not is zero. Acceleration negative g pointing down, and the final position in y component y is negative 1.5 meter. So it looks like we still need to use the time t to, as a bridge to connect this x component and the y component. But there, the v not, v not is not known at zero and at zero. So we can just list these two equations and solve it. So in this one, we can see there, the displacement in x component delta x equals the velocity at x component times t. So the x component is v naught cosine seven, uh, theta is cosine seven degree. And also we still look at the vertical motion. In this one, so final position, initial position, right? And the plus the v initial position, initial velocity at y component t and plus one half a t square. And then we insert as known quantities. We can see there. V y naught is this one. V naught cosine theta times t t is there, so input is a t at there, and one half negative g t squared t is there. And then we solve the equation, and we find that v naught is twenty four meter per second. Thank you.